upon a time there was a farm and in it there lived the horse in the barn one day he went out to take a walk but he forgot his way and got lost meanwhile the barn fell into disarray a snake came along and started to say this barn has been sent by providence and in it i'll take up my residence well, many years passed when lo and behold, the horse found his way back battered and cold. The farmer had pity on his wounds and scars, and he let him take up his old place in the barn. Late that night when all were asleep, the horse woke up, he heard something creep. Startled he saw the snake, who then said, pardon me, but I think you're sleeping in my bed. He hissed and he leapt and a struggle ensued, and a miracle the horse caught the snake by his shoe. The noise woke up the farmer who came and he said, cut it out, you two, now go back to bed. They returned to their places, tired from the fire, but you can probably guess no one slept that night. The horse in the hay, he trembled and squatted. The snake in the rafters, he sat and he plotted. Next morning, as the farmer's wife ordered her flowers, she remarked how the horse sits there and cowers. The snake called out, Madam, you know why he's in fright? Because he ate up your rose bush in the middle of the night. The horse jumped up, the wife read the check, and sure enough, the bush was a terrible wreck. The snake whispered, you follow my advice, listen to me. Bring your camera tonight at half past three. That night after all went to sleep, the snake snuck to the shed where the farmer would keep all his rakes and his shovels, but he needed one thing, back to the raptors a bucket to bring. At 3.30 sharp he heard a noise outside, he dropped the bucket square by the horse's eye. The snake screamed, he's got me, run for your life, and the horse ran outside by the farmer's wife. He ran through the flower bed this way and that, when the bucket flew off and the camera went snap. Among wrecked flowers the horse panted, confused the farmer's wife, said you've got some explaining to do. When the farmer arrived, they told him the story how the snake was attacked and the flowers destroyed. They showed him the picture of the horse's jaw ride. The evidence is clear, right before your eyes. The horse was dismayed, didn't know what to do, didn't know what to say. How about you? Does it sound like something you'd hear in the news? Does it remind you of Israel and the plight of the Jews? <laughs>